Well guys, we're back working on the 1954 today. Uh, what we're gonna do is get the front and rear cab mounts bolted to the S10 frame. Uh, the front mounts will have to be nut inserted because it's boxed up front. I can get a nut on the back too. So it should be pretty stout once we're done. That's all I'm gonna be doing in this video. And then uh, we'll be getting the cab off the 54 frame so we can test fit it and make sure everything lines up and we'll go from there. So if you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, guys. We're going to get to it. Okay, so now we're going to take our first measurement, which I've already done it, but we're going to the front of this oval, measure four and a half inches over, use our uh, speed square, draw us a line. There's a notch on the bracket that we can line it up with. And then we're going to, I just drilled out four of the holes. I still got a correct size those to get our nut certs in i got the two up here just to hold it and line it up and then from there we will measure 36 and a half inches back which should line up right around where that body mount came off so we can bolt it to the frame i've got this side done already so we just got to get the passenger side mounted up four bolts hold it it's pretty damn sturdy if you ask me i don't think we're going to have any issues with the nut certs holding it in I think they have like the three eighths or 1300 something pull out strength. And then the five sixteenths are a little bit less, a couple hundred pounds less. So overall it should be pretty stout. It take a pretty big collision, I think to rip it off the body, but I don't plan on wrecking this thing. So you see the four bolts we're using. I've got to go out and drill the other side out a little bit. Uh, I'm just going to use this little drill bit. Obviously, I don't have one big enough, but this is about perfect size once I get these holes wallowed out. But uh, we're going to get to it, and we're going to bolt the passenger side cab mount on, and we'll take our measurements and get the back ones put on. So stick with me, guys, and we'll get to it. Okay, guys, so the tool we're going to be using here is a Astro Pneumatic Nut Cert. Basically, it's like a rivet gun that just uh, installs a little threaded insert into like sheet metal. You can't, I don't know if it'll focus enough to get threads in there. They make different sizes. Uh, I'll link the tool down in the description. I'll also link the mandrel. Uh, it doesn't come with a three eighths mandrel size. You get a couple metrics and a couple standard, but uh, doesn't really get anything. I don't think it goes over a quarter 20, honestly. So had to buy a few things to do this. But once you get your hole sized, uh, what you'll do is put your tool in, try to keep it as straight as possible. I found sometimes they don't tighten all the way. You can spread them back out a little bit, get a little extra out of them. So I'm going to go ahead and do these other three, and then we will bolt up the passenger side front cab mount. And uh, we'll take our measurement clamp our uh, rear cab mount in place and then we will i'll show you how to punch the holes where they're lined up perfectly every time so i'm going to knock these three out and we'll get to the rear Here, I'll actually sacrifice one of these and show you kind of how they work. So you thread them onto the tool like so, and they're splined halfway up. So when you install them in sheet metal and then clamp them down, which a lot of times you gotta get extra bite on them. You can see It'll catch the collar and where it clamped between the threads or like between the sheet metal. 
And those splines will keep it from spinning. So basically it pinch fits between the sheet metal and holds it in place. Let me grab an extra and finish this out. Sorry if this camera angle is bad, guys. Alrighty. So we got our nut certs installed. We can now put on our front cab bracket using the supplied 3 8 bolts and the 5 16 bolts. I'll go grab it and we'll get it bolted on. All right, so how I'm gonna get this started is basically all my holes are lined up off the first top two, the 5 16 So we'll just kind of get it in place. I mean, we're not gonna tighten them all the way down. We're just gonna get them about a little less than finger tight so we still have some play in the brackets to make sure we can get all our bolts in. We'll get it started by hand. Just like so. That was just a little wonky because the bolt hitting it there. Let me go grab an impact so I can just run these up a little bit. All right, so we're just gonna barely run them till they touch. See, that one's binding just a little bit, so we don't wanna run it up too hard. There we go. Alrighty. So now that we got all those bolted in, got our four bolts holding it pretty sturdy. We'll tighten these two up with a half inch wrench. And then I'll uh, snug the other ones up by hand with a 9 16 just to make sure it's pretty solid mounted. And then we will measure our 36 and a half from the center of the front to where the center of the rear will be. Should be about 36 to 36 and three quarters. We're just gonna do 36 and a half. We'll just split the difference. So I'm gonna get these bolts tightened up and I'll get with y'all and we'll get the rear measured out and bolted. So my little workaround, since I'm usually by myself, is I just used a little clamp, clamped it at the two inch mark, so that way I wasn't worried about all that. Uh, there's a little notch in the bracket that's your center. I just used a speed square, marked it off. So, so we're gonna need to do 36 and a half inches from center of this bracket to the center of this cab mount. So we will be at 38 and a half since we're at our two inch mark. You can see we are at 38 and just under three quarters. So we just have to bump it back just ever so slightly till we get it at 38 and a half. And then I will clamp it. We will kind of make sure our bracket is pretty well square, mark our holes, drill them. And I will actually bolt these ones with uh, since it's actually just a half frame instead of boxed in up front, we'll be able to put nuts on the back side and won't we'll have to worry about the nut certs. So let me get this dead nuts. I need both hands to do it. I can't hold the phone and record and get it dead nuts at 38 and a half. So uh, let me get it clamped and I'll come back. All right, guys, we got it bolted up. You can see it is at 40 and a half. Minus our four inches, so that's 36 and a half. So we're spot on. I've got a clamp, I'm gonna center punch it. I'll be using what's called a transfer punch. So it's the perfect ID of a hole. There's multiple different sizes. You can get them at Harbor Freight for next to nothing. So you can center punch, all your holes will line up perfectly. Drill them out and you'll be done. So I'm gonna do those off camera so you don't have to watch me drill holes. But uh, once I get it bolted up, I'll come back 
and give y'all a peek of what it looks like. Okay guys, we got all the bolts in, got it drilled, got it mounted. Sturdy, as you can see, backside we can actually use nuts since it is only a half frame instead of boxed. Um, the bracket did move just a hair. Uh, as you can see, we're still right at 40 and a half. So minus our four inches puts us at that 36 and a half. So that's right where we need to be for the cab mounts. Front and rears are done. So now all I got left is to get the cab off the 54 frame, test fit it on here, and then we will start with the bed brackets. Bed brackets, we take a measurement from the back one, center about 12 and a half inches, I think is what the direction said. I'll have to double check. And then we'll bolt those to the frame as well. We might have to move our parking brake cables a little bit, but other than that, that's all it takes to get the front and rear cab mounts on. Uh, later on, I'll show you what that bracket's for. You hang the uh, running boards off of it. There's a bracket that bolts to there. So I'm going to end this video, guys. If you like it, give it a like, drop a comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll catch you on the next one.